Yeah, yeah, yes, I am. You at St. Paul? In a tunnel. Can you see how small my office is? Is that your office? Yeah, it's I like, know. It's like a broom Which cupboard. I'm... Who are you, Stuart St. Paul? A cruise ship author. About crime, yes, that's right. About crime. On crime a cruise, on ship. cruise ships. What, crime on a ship? Yeah, okay. this guy is sort of ex-army, ex-military, ex-special services. The hero jumps on the ship. Um, it's actually near, it's go, just about to go into Panama and then cut across and come back. Quite a complex one, actually. Yeah, so the ship leaving from, jumps on the ship just before Panama. He's sussed out the Panama so when he does the commentary it's really interesting right I mean to be honest if you go on anymore I won't need to read it will I because we also run a YouTube channel about port guides YouTube which, you know, yeah yeah is it's anybody, a channel does anybody YouTube. watch YouTube yeah I get about a hundred thousand views every month right um, and effectively we make port guides and um, I edit those and put them up so that keeps me busy and so while I'm on a cruise ship I, I, I go there to talk about my books, but effectively, when, every, when we stop at every single port, my wife, Jean, uh, who's an actress, does a commentary of uh, the port. And we literally don't make any comments or criticism. We literally just film the port and tell you what's there. All right. So like a kind of wish you were here. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I get in touch with famous people that are in lockdown around the country and I read their minds. So uh, that's what we're going to attempt to do with you, Stuart St. Paul. OK. Do you have any books that you've written there with you at the moment? Just so happens. Uh, I have I've certainly got these three on the shelf. Oh, OK. Uh, uh, the Heist. Right. Serial Killer, which is a really good one. OK, someone and... murdered with a packet of Frosties or something. Is it? <laughs> But this one's Laundry Wars, but obviously it doesn't, it's not all about what goes on in the laundry, but right. it does tell a lot of funny gags that do go on in the laundry as the crime gets, well, it's huge. It's, that's, okay. It's quite, it's quite a, a, an edge cutting book. So if, cutting it's, edge. If, it, if it's based on a laundry, you could call it a soap. Ah. ah. Yeah, yeah, um, do do a favour out of those three books that you just showed me. Well, I guess the first one is probably a good one to start on because it's the one I suggest people start on, although they could read any of them in isolation. Well, what I'd like yeah. you to do, Stuart, is I would like you to flick through that book. Um, now, it's important that um, you maybe keep the book out of view, so, you know, away from the camera so that I can't see. And I want you to flick through your book at random, stop on any page, and then have a look at that page and find a word, like an interesting word, a word that means something. It might be, probably a noun is good, you know, a descriptive word, you know, like an object, something. A nun? Not a nun, no, a, no a noun. Anyone you uh, want. But make sure I can't see. So, you know, just in case people think that I can see the page number here, and maybe they think I've got a copy of your book here. They, I haven't. I've uh, got a good one, fairly relevant. You got one so, there? You can yeah. remember this word? Yeah. Okay, I want you to close the book. Do I have to remember anything else, like the page number? No, or no, no, just the word. Okay. So you have you have a word in your mind. I do. That you selected randomly from that book yes. that you were holding. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Stuart, I asked you to flick through one of your books. It's your choice, free choice, and to choose a word at random from one of those pages. Mm-hmm. And there's no way that I could know that word, right? No. It, it would be impossible. No. Yeah, exactly. Which is what this show is all about, because I'm a mind reader. And I'm going to read your mind now to try and get this word from millions, hundreds of millions of words that, could, that you could possibly have picked. But this particular word I want you to focus on. I'm going to see if I can get it. Now, I asked you to, to pick a word that was like a thing, a, like a descriptive word. I'm getting some, I, I'm getting, it's quite, I'm getting a topical subject from you, something that's news related. Yeah. I think you're thinking, did you pick 
something to do with politics. Is that right? Is it, yeah. Did you, did you politician? Yeah. How did you do that? Is that the word you're thinking of? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how did you do that? That's that's what I do. I just I do the impossible. And wow, that I mean, was impossible. That is, that is amazing. I always thought these tricks were phony, but that is quite amazing. That is amazing. That is amazing. Yeah.